It is strawberry season in Missouri. I have so many strawberry recipes over on the Farmhouse on Moon blog, and I thought it would be fun today to make some of those. We're just going to embrace what is May and all things strawberry. Today's video is brought to you by Wondrium. More on them in a bit. strawberries for the frozen yogurt. So I'm cutting them real small. I'm gonna set these aside because we're working on our strawberry jam now and we're going to make our ice cream later. We made some homemade yogurt yesterday from our dairy cow. So we're gonna blend that up with some maple syrup and then toss in the diced strawberries, put it in our ice cream maker and have a strawberry frozen yogurt. Oh, we're also gonna add vanilla, we decided. Now we can make this a little bit thicker by first draining off the whey, but we're not gonna do that right now. All right, I wanna take a quick break from all of these delicious strawberry goodies and tell you about a resource that I have been enjoying called Wondrium. I have been exploring around on Wondrium. They have so much for me to learn from in a very entertaining way so that I can sit down at the end of the day and learn something new that I can apply into our home. As you know, I love learning new things for our home. Everything from making cheese to fermenting dairy to making sourdough. I am always learning something new, canning, making jam, so many things for our home. I sat down and watched Barbecuing Meats with Dry Rubs and Sauces by Bill Rewa of the Culinary Institute of America. He taught me that there's a big difference between barbecuing and grilling, which I didn't know. We just got our barbecue pit. I know a lot of you think it's crazy, but I've never grilled. My mom always grilled growing up. I've been around it, but I've never had a grill, and I'm really interested in exploring all the culinary possibilities that come from that. And I, like many others, assumed that grilling and barbecuing was the same thing. I learned that barbecue actually started in the Caribbean, where they rubbed a spice mix all over the meat and then cooked it slowly over a smoky fire. So this would actually result in something that could preserve the meat. So barbecue equals slow, smoky fire, really slow cooking from all sides, whereas grilling is a direct heat from the bottom. I also learned about the different barbecue traditions all over the country. So in some places like Texas, there's a focus on beef, whereas in Kansas City, you can get all kinds of barbecue so much variation and I'm really interested in exploring the topic and then also learning how to best cook my meats, what spice mixtures complement which different cuts, so much good information there for me as a beginning griller. And all throughout Wondrium, you can find similar topics that you are interested in that you need to learn more about in your own home. Wondrium is an educational video service where you can find any topic that you are interested in dig deeper and learn more. They have art, business and finance, 
food and drink, health and mindfulness, history, hobby, literature, math. They bring in trusted and respected experts from all over the place to teach on the topics that you want to know about as well as nonfiction storytellers, resulting in over 6,000 hours of video courses, documentaries, and series. If you've ever wondered about anything, Wonderum will be your new favorite place. Make sure to check out the link in the description box below to get your free trial. You can start combing through some of the courses, find something that interests you where you want to dig deeper. All right, next up, we're gonna make a sourdough strawberry shortcake, which we're very excited about because it's gonna be really delicious and we're gonna have it for lunch dessert. Ruth, can you add three cups of unbleached all-purpose flour? Joe, I'm gonna have you add, uh-oh, like basically all this baking powder for the tablespoon and a half. Three. I'm gonna add a teaspoon of salt. Don't worry if you didn't write everything down. There's actually going to be a printable recipe book. So if you go to bit.ly forward slash farmhouse strawberry, all of the recipes that we're making today with strawberries, you can just print that off and have in your own kitchen for free. Okay, so let's mix these dry ingredients together and then we're gonna cut in cold butter. So Johanna, do you wanna help me? Um, cut this up. So one and a half sticks. For the wet ingredients, we're gonna do a third of a cup of cream, half a cup of maple syrup, okay. A third of a cup of sourdough starter. This is actually some really nice starter that I got going last night. Now you can long ferment this recipe. I actually did long ferment the cream cheese cobbler we're gonna make next, but um, I did not do this one. So you can do either way for either recipe. One egg. A little maple syrup and cream. combine three quarters of a cup of milk, three quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour, and a quarter cup of sourdough starter. This way it's where my grains were long fermented. Now I'm gonna turn this into my strawberry cream cheese cobbler, which is very delicious. So to this, I'm gonna add a teaspoon each of baking powder and baking soda. Half a teaspoon of salt. I'm also gonna add a half a teaspoon of salt and three quarters of a cup of sugar. I have a organic, natural sugar here, but you can really use any kind. This is such a simple recipe. It comes together really quickly, and then if you want your grains to be long fermented, that's easy to do too. You can see as I stir that everything gets all foamy as it interacts with the fermented starter. Add a half a cup of melted butter. I do have to make this in a cast iron skillet, but today I'm gonna be making it in a baking dish. You can do either way. If you do make it in a cast iron skillet, you can just melt the butter right into the cast iron skillet and then add your sourdough starter mixture. All right, next I'm just gonna layer in strawberries, about two cups of quartered strawberries.
Next, I'm gonna add about four ounces of cream cheese. I'm just going to cut it up and layer it on. I got so busy photographing this for the blog that I forgot to show you the after, but it really was good. And I also will insert here some of the photos from the blog. And obviously we're still, still gonna eat all this, but it does have some whipped cream on it now. That's the consequence of blog photography. However, it will be delicious. I know my kids won't mind at all. All right, next up on the list, Theo woke up from his nap is strawberry jam. So I don't have a whole lot. The local orchard was already way picked over. We're gonna go strawberry picking later this week and hopefully stock up. But I do wanna show you my strawberry jam I showed you last year. I actually made a recipe that calls for a much larger batch that you can preserve it, put it away. But I'm just gonna make a small amount today. So I'm gonna take the strawberries that I have and blend them in this blender. My original recipe calls for half a gallon or eight cups of strawberries. I had exactly four cups, so I am just going to do that and a cup of honey. My original recipe called for a third a cup of pectin and juice from a lemon. So I'm gonna do half a lemon and then half of the pectin as well. Again, you can print off these recipes. I'll leave a link below if you want to try this, if you are able to get a lot of strawberries or maybe even have a patch on your property. That's what we need to do. But we actually have some great local places to pick, even though, like I just said, they ran out. So we really need to get our patch going here. And I'm just gonna bring this up to a light simmer and stir it until it thickens. Now, I don't have a large amount today, so I won't be canning it, but pretty easy to can it. Just wanna sterilize your jars, and then I take mine and flip them upside down until they seal technically, and obviously follow safe canning practices. You should put them into a water bath canner, so that way you can ensure that everything's hot enough for it to seal. You'll know when they're sitting out on the counter the seal should pull down. Again, follow some other guidelines. This is just very rough information. This is definitely not a strawberry canning course or anything like that. Okay, I cooked it for a while. This is about the consistency that I'm looking for. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of this jam to the yogurt and vanilla maple syrup that my daughter blended up earlier. And then also the little pieces of strawberry and we're gonna make a frozen yogurt. So lately we've been making a lot of ice cream because we have a dairy cow and we get a lot of milk, but we are weaning the calf. We're gonna be weaning the calf very soon. I think that we're gonna actually do that this week, but we put that off way too long for you homesteaders, you know that. But we get nowhere near enough cream that we would like because she saves it for her calf. And you can't really make ice cream with milk. You can, but it's very icy. So we're trying with yogurt to see if that thickens it up enough so you can make ordinary milk into a nice ice cream, creamy product by making it into yogurt first. So we'll see, that's been our theory anyway.
Right, well, I hope that you enjoyed going along with us as we made some wonderful things with the strawberries that are currently in season. If you like this kind of video, let me know in the comments below. I love making seasonal content. I like to make recipes that center around what's currently available. I like to do homemaking videos where I'm sharing cut flowers in the summer, pumpkin recipes in the fall, snow forts in the winter. I really like to capture what's going on in the world around us in video form and I hope that you do too. Make sure to check out the link in the description box below to show your support for my channel by checking out Wondrium and receiving your free 14 day trial. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you are brand new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I make new videos every week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home. Thank you so much for stopping by our farmhouse.